trying to get to a more user-based tax system rather than an income-based system and cutting down unnecessary expenses from different state agencies. That's the plan for Speaker of the House Philip Gunn and Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves' working groups made up of current lawmakers to explore the state's tax code and budget outlook. I think user-based is, is, is a more fair system because it allows people to decide whether they want to use a particular product or service and pay a tax for it or not. There are four main objectives for the tax policy panel. Creating a flatter, fairer tax code, moving towards a user-based tax system, increasing the state's competitiveness, and building pro-growth tax changes. Lieutenant Governor Reeves thinks that the tax code especially needs reform, but all options are on the table with one goal. I've said for the last year we need a tax code that is fair, we need one that is flatter, and we need a tax code that encourages and incentivizes economic development, not one that discourages it. While addressing the tax policy panel, Speaker Gunn says that Mississippi has previously had a, quote, shotgun approach to taxes. It seems like taxes have been implemented and cut over the years, uh, you know, over the decades, really, without any comprehensive thought as to how they all work together. For the budget group, these are the 13 agencies set for review. And according to Speaker Gunn, this is how he and Lieutenant Governor Reeves chose those agencies. My thinking was, let's look at the ones where there's large expenditures, some of the ones that come back with recurring deficits, uh, some of the ones that we think we can find savings in. For Reeves, all of the funding increases should be studied to prevent any unnecessary spending. We just don't want to uh, pay for increased, quote, needs that aren't really needs, and, and it may even be an area where government shouldn't even be doing it in the first place. Both of these groups plan to meet several times over the coming months, and there is no set timetable for recommendations to be presented. Lieutenant Governor and Speaker both stress that they want to get this right instead of rushing any recommendations. For Mississippi Today, I'm Gabriel Austin.